Hey, what's new and exciting? It's Kevin O'Shaughnessy here, and in this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how you can come up with some cool licks using two-way pick slanting. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please feel free to have a look around. I post videos on guitar technique, music production, and songwriting. If that sounds interesting to you, then please consider subscribing, and remember to hit the notifications bell so that you're kept up to date when I post new content. My goal is to help you find your voice possibly a little quicker, but hopefully with a bit more confidence and a little less confusion. So let's get on to today's lesson. Today we're going to talk about two-way pick slanting, which is a combination of downward pick slanting and upward pick slanting. Now if you're not familiar with any of these terms, I have links in the description below to previous videos that I've created that will cover all of the vocabulary that you're going to hear in this lesson. In general, I find that the most common use of two-way pick slanting is when I have an odd number of notes on each string. For example, let's take the three notes per string scale fingering, let's say in the key of A major, to illustrate the point. As the name suggests, I've got three notes on every string. Odd number. That means if I start with a down stroke on the first string, I'm going to pick down, up, down. The next string is going to be up, down, up. The next string is going to be down, up, down, and so on. So this is a perfect opportunity to work on two-way pick slanting. So you notice as I play the first three notes, it's an upward pick slant. Down, up, down. My pick is now cleared from the low E string. Now, a forearm rotation allows me to change the orientation to a downward pick slant. Up, down, up. Another forearm rotation allows me to return to upward pick slanting. And another rotation allows me to go back to downward pick slanting. And I continue that pattern all the way up to the top of the scale and then reverse it on the way down. One of the challenges with two-way pick slanting is deciding when to switch the orientation. Now, I've found two basic approaches, and I'll show them to you right now. The first method would be to practice the orientation switch as you switch strings. So I'm going to start with an upward pick slant, and as I cross the strings, I'm going to go to a downward pick slant. Switch. Even though I'm on the same string, I'm going to switch again. Switch. 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 The second method, and the way that I find that I do it the most often, is simply to maintain one orientation for as long as I can, and then switch on the last note. So it looks like this. With both of these methods, I'm using deviation to control the bulk of my alternate picking, and the forearm rotation is what allows me to switch from one orientation to the next. In this case, I'm using the orientation on the last note to sort of wind up into the downstroke on the next string. I find it to be a little bit more comfortable personally because I'm not switching all the time. I can sit in an orientation for five notes, one quick rotation, and then I'm back into the original position. So in this case, because three notes per string, I'm starting on a downstroke, I'm using an upward pick slant, and that's generally where I stay for the bulk of playing this scale. So how do we use this in actual music? I'm going to show you two licks from a couple of my songs 
that use this two-way pick slanting to make them work. The first is from a tune called Brace Yourself, and this is a pretty cool example of straightforward inside picking. Now, inside picking and outside picking are terms we use to describe how we work between two strings. In an inside picking lick, the pick rests between the two strings and alternates between the high string and the low string. So you do down strokes on the high string, you do up strokes on the low string. Now for the tempo of the song, this is a 30 second note lick, but we can think about it as 16th notes for purposes of this lesson. So first let me show you the lick, then I'll break it down. So the lick has two basic parts. The first part consists of two six note patterns, and the last part is a four note pattern. So the sixth note pattern is three notes on the E string followed by three notes on the B string, hence the need for the two-way pick slanting. It starts with upward pick slanting on the E string, where we're going to end with a downstroke, and the B string starts and ends with the upstroke, so that's downward pick slanting. Now I'm going to add two notes on the B string and two notes on the E string to even out the number of sixteenth notes so that we can start the pattern over again fresh in the next measure. What this is going to do is it's going to make it five notes per string for that transition going from the end of one measure into the beginning of the other. So we're still keeping our odd number of notes per string. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So two-way pick slanting really works well in this situation where your pick is resting between two strings and you're alternating an odd number of notes between a higher string and a lower string. The last lick I'm going to demonstrate is from a tune called Gotta Go. It's a sort of funk fusion thing, and it sounds like this. The lick starts off with a downward pick slanting. It's an even number of notes per string, but I'm eventually going to switch to upward pick slanting, and then I'm going to get into a point where I'm actually rocking back and forth between the B string and the G string. So here's the downward pick slanting part. Now I'm going to switch the orientation to upward pick slanting, and I'm going to do two notes. I'm going to pick the first note and slide into the second note, which is going to give me time to put the pick over the B string so that I can use my two-way pick slanting alternation. So once again, downward pick slanting, upward pick slanting, two-way pick slanting, and up to speed, it sounds like this. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please consider subscribing. In the description below, you will find links to other videos where I discuss the individual techniques in more detail. You'll also find a link to a downloadable PDF that has a transcription of all of the licks that I used here. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. Until then, I'm Kevin O'Shaughnessy, and I'll see you in the next video.